Hey, Fallon Mouton, Lindsey Bramson with KXAN out of Austin. Can I ask you a few questions? Can you tell me where the money is that's meant for Jessica uh, Rodriguez? I've already sent all the information to my attorney and all to KATC. It's all being refunded. We're just trying to help the family, as I'm sure you know. Refunded. Can you? Did you want to help the family? I mean, what was the purpose in setting up that account? Was to help the family, but when I got um, video footage and pictures later on, the Saturday morning of the husband out the Friday night partying and drinking the night that his wife died is when I closed that account. What's your relationship with her? How do you she know Jessica? That's it. Why did you want to help her in the first place? Because I felt sorry for the kids. But other than that, after I saw that, I just didn't trust where the money was going to go. Where's that money now? Family and friends say they haven't been able to get a hold of you. Um, because I've gotten threatened phone calls, threatening messages. My 14-year-old has had threatening messages from family and friends, um, especially from the Denisha Williams. I'm not sure exactly who she is. Is there anything, I mean, obviously we want to get all sides of the story. Mm -hmm. We're here to hear whatever you have to say. Is there anything else you can say for, for people who are wondering where the $5,000 went? Um, it wasn't $5,000, it was only $4,600. $4,600, excuse um, it's me. It's being so, refunded. So um, I did send information um, to a friend of mine in Texas. She is sending it over to y'all through email. They weren't even able to afford a tombstone. I mean, there was, and I overheard that there was two thousand dollars missing from the benefit they had on October twenty seventh. Also, did you have good intentions? Yes, I did. Why did you disappear suddenly? Because I was being harassed. I was being threatening. And what? What do you mean disappear suddenly? That's Everybody says they haven't been able to get a hold of you. Because they're my family, and I'm being harassed constantly by these people, being threatened by these people. My fourteen year old child has been threatened by these people. And I have done nothing wrong and have no reason to be threatened or being terrorized. I mean, they even posted my address on Facebook for people to come to my house and beat me in front of my children. Did you take that money out no, of the account? No, I did not. That money is being refunded, and I can show you emails to where it has been. Where's the money right now? It's GoFundMe has it. They have it all. They're refunding it all. As of October 18th, there was $115 refunded to one person that was donated the last email I got. Are you cooperating with Taylor Police? I know they've been looking for you as well. Um, I have not gotten any phone calls or anything from Taylor Police, and I don't find that I need to tell them anything because if they need, they have any evidence, they can contact my local police. So you didn't take the money out of the account? No, I did not. I have no debit cards, no banking accounts, no checking accounts, no nothing. Did your sister take it out of the account? No, she did not. Why did you want to help them in the first place? Because did you know her personally or through no, your sister? through my sister. I mean, she has kids. As you can look in here, I have kids also. Um, I lost a child when he was three months, 28 days old myself. And he's actually sitting right there on my shelf cremated. So you don't know where the money went, Absolutely but you didn't not. take it out no, of the account. Not. Any idea why they think it was you? Because they, because of whenever they questioned me about it, I told them that I would not speak with anyone unless it was a husband himself and he's never contacted me. Anything else you want to say to the family for I anybody to, that they may? They need to leave my family and friends alone. I mean, they have no proof of anything. Um, I can, I have verification of emails that the money is being refunded back to the people that donated it. Yeah, all the threatening, all the threatening mes Facebook messages need to stop. Um, threatening my 14 year old child for one needs to stop. That, that there's no call for that. Um, stories really need to stick the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, one story was that my sister told Moses at the funeral she was going to steal the money. Um, and another story was that my mom stole the money. My mom lives in Tennessee. I mean, how did she steal the money? I, I mean, there's. Why making a big deal of a full grand, man. I mean, there's no reason to it. I mean, I have no need or no reason to steal any money from anybody. Forty-six hundred dollars to this family is a lot and of I money. I understand that, and I understand that, but they're picking the wrong one. I mean, they really are. Um, I set up the account. I closed the account. I sent emails on why the account was closed from GoFundMe to a certain person to where they can get it to Taylor Police Department or whoever it needed to be sent to. When you closed that account, where did the money go? It stayed there. Um, KATC also contacted me. I've talked to them. Um, they said that account needed to be linked to a checking account or a banking account for the account to be open. If you go to the GoFundMe app, you can download any, you can download that app and start any kind of campaign and there's no account information needed. Sherman, anything that you'd like to add to How it? did you find me? Thank you for your time. Is there anything else that you guys can say? I don't, well, I don't understand why they're making a big deal about it. Any questions when I can call you for another one? Thank you.